6.5 simplifying a product of radical expressions univariant. So we're going to do the same thing again. This is 2 times 3. This is already in its prime factorization. And if I multiply them together, I'm going to have that 2, but then I'm going to have 3 squared. This 3 and this 3 are going to make the 3 squared. Then I have z squared and z, which is going to be um, z to the third. Now that it's all in its prime factorization form, I can take the square root of 3 squared. A 3 will come out. I cannot take the square root of 2. So the 2 will stay in. When I do the square root of um, z to the third, 2 will go into 3 one time. So 1 will come out. But I will have 1 left over. So 1 will stay in. And then to clean that up, remember, we don't need to put 1 powers. So it's just 3z and 2z. So we start to get a little bit faster um, at simplifying these radicals. We don't have to necessarily go back to exponent form and then divide and then go back to um, radical form. We can do it all in one step. Just remember you're taking this exponent divided by this index, which is a little invisible too, and then however many times it goes in, that's what comes out and however many you have left over, that's what stays left over on the inside of the radical. So let's try that again with this one. Now 8 can be written as 4 times 2 or 2 times 2. So these are all of my primes. In this square root, that's just the 1 prime. So if I write that in prime factorization, that means there's 1, 2, 3, 4 2's. So 2 to the 4 power. And then if I multiply my c's together, 3 and 4 are going to get added, and I get c to the 7th. So again, my index is 2. 2 goes into 4 2 times with none left over. So I will not have any 2's in my radical. 2 goes into 7 3 times, but I will still have 1 left over on the inside. And then I can clean this up by actually squaring that 2 and then not writing the exponent here. Be careful when you type this into the calculator. This 3 is this C's exponent. It is not the index of the square root. Because if you type it in there incorrectly, it will count you wrong. Okay? So that's C cubed and then a regular square root of C.